mess up uh, onto those at the bot lane and a good ban coming in from ROI. Although, um, with how well uh, G2B's lineup, I, I believe that they kind of need uh, some a, a, a Galio perhaps for Zero. Hmm. For Rolls and Y, yeah, they can definitely take his uh, on their side, but already have tons of damage in their composition. But from what they what we're seeing here, they would really want Luna to get that. I thought they're gonna get the Zeri, but they banned the Zeri. Vladimir is still open though, so they can definitely still take that on their side. Aaron could also take that if ever the Vladimir is not gonna be banned here. So they have that more late game power onto the side of G2B. But also why would be open in oh. taking it? But yeah, they would want to get that early game power because they already have a lot of champions that already has tons of damage. Yeah, so the kind of utility I was expecting an Ash uh, with Enchanted Crystal oh, Arrow. There you, go. <laughs> and there you go. Understandable, of course, for having a Varus because you have a piercing shot, you have the Chains of Corruption, and uh, uh, it offers a lot of those utilities or a pokes. But then again, an Ash mm. with Cross Map Scout uh, plus the Enchanted Crystal Arrow is definitely out there. So, uh, pretty good for uh, Vladimir to just, uh, or for G2B to take out Vladimir. Yeah, they could have had a chance on taking the Yasuo here. Could be good, taking down the Enchanted Crystal Arrow, taking down uh, the Orin Call of the Forge God. But the Vladimir is still a very consistent pick for their side. It's uh, really surprising that they're not going to take the Silver for now. But they're hovering it, so there's a big chance. Ezreal is also going to be good here if they still want that early game poke potential as a team. But with the Silver, it's also good because they don't really have a really great frontline inside of G2B. A Sivir is good just for them to have that extra mobility in order for them to have access to the back line. Yeah, and uh, I think right now, hmm, with the last one, Ooh. we're winging it again. It's so green. Hmm, uh, Chanted Crystal Arrow, Sleepy, Sleepy Bubble Trouble, Trouble. Bubble, yeah. <laughs> and then you know, a one hit shot of a battle yeah. star. This is really good. But then again, considering how. Uh, mobile uh, G2B have uh, Valor, you have also the uh, Spell Shield coming in from Sever, you have the Sanguine Pool, a lot of dodge possibilities for a battle star. but then again, once you spend those, longer cooldowns might be coming in and they kind of need to uh, differentiate the uh, this scenario. Yep. But for now, from what we're seeing here, you can definitely have a great spot for G2B, they do have a lot of ways to take down the CC by themselves though, because the Sever with the Spell Shield and they have uh, the or, or rather the Vladimir with the Sanguine Pool, it's gonna be easy for them to take down all the CC. But when the CCs uh, go on top of each other, that is when it's gonna be a problem because if Vladimir could get eliminated really early, the Aatrox and the Vladimir has a lot of problems whenever there's an Ash on the other team. So the question is, how would G2B be able to find a way to win against those CCs because they have a lot on the side <laughs> of Roaster yeah. Y. Yeah, and uh, considering with the surprise factor coming in from Rollstar Y, remember we have a Kha'Zix in terms of assassination and a good uh, place or a well-played uh, Enchanted Crystal Arrow to start things up. They can just jump in and then uh, a good mist coming in from Gwen to protect uh, Doll with all of those uh, kills. Uh, that will be an easy task for KD. Yeah. Now as we oh, start wow. the game, let's definitely <laughs> talk about how KD gonna be starting this game it's gonna be a bit too late when it comes to getting those objectives but he's gonna go to the other side and they want to take the other side jungle and Daw is gonna have a problem here but they have information on where KD yeah. is so they can still go to the other side of the jungle yeah the good amount of vision oh, there you go. and uh, Daw is <laughs> also not aware so we're just uh going for those small trades and then again uh a, a sweep Onto the mid lane for the wards, and uh, KD isn't really well aware that uh, there's another ward behind him. But then again, no problems. Just starting off with a few trades of those camps. Yep. Oh, wait, they're starting. Oh, wow. Exhaust. Level into two. Those arrows, Acrobat. Yes, level two. They oh. are well aware so they are the ones who's advanced, but though. I'm not sure if G2B got the information, but this will be a big problem once they go in for a dead kill. I think Draw is going to be peeking this. That's not a good decision, though. Oh, of course. The taste, their fear, the isolation damage coming in from Daw. 
and just they just know and doesn't really need to overcommit with a sustain coming in from the area of uh, perseverance and no problem for that uh bot lane to just sustain yeah this bot lane is gonna have a lot of problems especially g2b they don't have a lot of damage most of the time whenever you have a sona you pick up a champion that could have a really good or at least a dominating early game but when you pick up a sivir to get it with it you're just gonna get bullied by the other side especially if that's an ash yeah and uh... Right now, the, uh, how well with uh, oh my the, the the bullying coming in from uh, Zero, you don't have any much of a problem to just uh, control the wave, go for a recall, take those items first, and Zero might be going for a cancelled recall. Yep. Oh, okay. Good thing they weren't able to cancel it. But again, for our junglers, definitely seeing a lot of power coming in from Aaron in the mid lane. The Hemo Plague was able to get the first blood there. Hemo played plus the ignite, just to make sure that they are going to lose. And even to spend uh, um, both uh, ignite and flash. I mean, I believe the ignite has been spent way, way back when we start just started. So no problems with that for Aaron to just capitalize on the misses of Luna, and that's Zoe just won that. Yeah. For now, G2B has advantage. Aaron winning in the mid lane is really big for the team here because of Vladimir getting that early game advantage against a Zoe. That's a big W for the squad. But now Roaster Y wants to jump in on Nime here. Nime getting that Valor shield. But then again, Void Assault is ready for Ooh. Dog. Might. They are waiting for the wave. Oh no. Nime. Oh no. He got broken. Oh uh, no. Even with the Valor, he wasn't able to do anything much because the dive coming in from the- Oh wait, KD! Oh, KD! And even using the Word oh, Breaker. What? The third one, slicing up. What? Cosmics. What was that? Really surprising. The confidence coming from KD there, but now mid lane. Oh, the portal. Battle starve. No, pro no problem with Aaron as he got the transfusion. He got those heals and sustain. So we'll, we'll be selling down. Uh, more trades uh, from <laughs> mid and uh, from uh, top lane as well. Yeah, confidence coming from KD and Aaron. Really loving this duo. Being able to just herald the team and just get them to a really good spot before the next objective that is going to come in. Surprising that Da wasn't able to feel that out. KD, the timing on that top lane gag was just perfect. Yeah, and uh, with, with how good Da on that uh, Kha'Zix... There's no much of a problem, once again, to go back on the top lane. As what we've mentioned from the drafting, that Rattal and Do just meshes well together and might yeah. be shutting down Ime again and again. Yeah, uh, what Ime needs to do here is just to stay consistent, or at least stay in a really good uh, gold spot against Rattal, because Rattal is just going to dominate this lane. Once you give him an advantage, he's definitely just going to push that forward until they win. But now with G2B taking wins for KD and Aaron, that's also a win condition here for the side of G2B because when these two people get those skills that they want, they can take anything that they want and Da is going to have problems there in the jungle. Yeah, and uh, that's what's good about the, the winning lane uh, as for Aaron because remember that uh, the sustain or the tankiness of, of Vladimir, that will be the, one of the front lines that are going to take care of the assassination potential of Do as an assassin is uh, something that they can nullify. But then again, with how many pressure that they're putting in, a lot of battles start dropping into the face of Aaron. A good bubble just to zone them. And here comes the backup. Might be a battle for the dragon. Oh, wow. And that's fine. This is a take out. Aaron oh. the Forge God, the catching too, even Golden Kite. But they are running low. They are looking for the targets. A good bubble trouble to disengage completely. But E may. Still got that win, win slash. Yeah. Waiting. And wasn't really able to hit anyone. But oh, oh, no. Fail from draw. Yeah, G2B has a lot of low HP members, but they prioritize in taking the top side, taking the Rift Herald, which is also, honestly, the best decision that they could make because taking this would just give them the map advantage that they would need. Now, on the other hand, the other team is taking the Dragon and they're going to go to the bot lane to take down that tower. Oh, a two versus three. Rift Herald, this might be an opening for R, Y, to solidify the map, but then Ooh. again, the Valor into the key burst. Wasn't really able to finish the job, Ooh. and they are the first one is going to take down the tower at the bot lane. 
Great answer from G2B. They take the dragon. They take the first turret against Rosier. Why? That's a big disadvantage because even though you took the Rip Herald, you weren't able to take the first turret. That's a big blow to their goal, but it's still a 500 gold lead. Still really not that big. But G2B still keeping at it with this advantages and getting a dragon is something big too. Yeah, uh, just uh, a few objective uh, trading, and uh, despite of them uh, already getting the advantage by taking down Aaron, they didn't really wanted to go for a dragon and uh, opted for an early Rift Herald just to focus oh. on the top lane. But oh, no. KD uh, just going to take down Acrobat. KD's timing is just immaculate this game. <laughs> He's always there at the right time, especially Da a while ago. He caught an uh, Acrobat off guard again. And he always does this every time. And that's what's good about this guy. Having that a body clock of where to go. And the vision that helps him with it. Just really just pushes him to the boundaries. Yeah, and you don't have any good of an answer uh, if you're Acrobat. Remember, you're playing on an Ash. And you're just there to entirely put a really good uh, Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Or just uh, play on a late game Ash. So with the early surprises coming in from KD they don't have any much of a problem but Void Assault they're going to take down the mid lane towers Aaron being left out with a 3 versus 1 mm -hmm. really needed for the team there to take down the tower just for them to really close the gap when it comes to the goal it's really not that big the goal gap that they have here but it, the tower in the bot lane was uh, a really good spot to be in but the tower in the mid lane being taken down by Rolster Y really nullifies what a G2B did a while ago because this opening in the mid lane could definitely have or at least give them a lot more space yeah and uh, right now they're just moving map to map taking down towers might be a lot of those surprises Ooh. a double trouble with that enchanted crystal arrow trying to hit Aaron and Emei but no problem as a good dashes and we've already talked about this how mobile or they can dodge those uh, surprise attacks yeah they may, might be able to take tower not oh, good oh good knock up coming in from zero but then again the world ender ending lives again acrobat eyes on the prize as kd moving in but the call of the forge oh, god no. Turn around. Turn around coming in from KTRY Golden Kite. A good boomerang blade, but then again, wasn't really able to take down anyone wow. as well with the last hit. But the tankiness of an Orn isn't going to finish that spot. A flash into the key first and wind slash. Here comes the backup coming in from Aaron, but flash into flash. We're getting sleepy bubble Ooh. trouble and a good plan as Rattel being chased down. Here comes the speed coming in from Aaron. Needles and the scissors. Oh and no. of course, Enchanted Crystal Arrow once again back on cooldown and they are not going to stop. They overchase, overcommit, and overcooked. Great arrow again from Acrobat. That started the fight in their favor. And now they got the tower on the top side. No answers just yet from the side of G2B. Also, why is looking for the tower at the bot lane? They would really need that before the next objective comes in because having that bot lane power or at least bot lane space for the side of G2B would really help them for this next ocean break. Yeah, exactly. And with one step ahead and with all of those skills, feels like RY are starting to take control. I mean, not much of a gold, but with how well they are going for those engages, especially Zero's Orn. Wow. Yep. Sivir and Aatrox, these two really helps out each other. The synergy that these two champions have really helps the team overall. And with KD being so fed, he's going to be chased down. Oh, a good arrow. That will be stopping draw to, to help out KD. But the chains will be broken down by... Zero and will escape. No problem with that. Blue buff turnover to draw. They are everywhere right now. KT with the early takedown of the mid lane tower. That one is that was an easy task for them. You just entirely roam around and strike more pressure in the hands of G2B. Taking as much as they can here for the side of G2B. Now they're looking for more. From what we're seeing here from the side of Rose Y, they just want to take down the tower. They got the dragon easily for the side of G2B. They need to contest the next one because Soul is going to come up and they need to be careful because if the Soul gets taken by G2B, that's a lot more damage for that Aatrox. Yeah, exactly. And having that Aatrox is one of those winning conditions because KD is the only one who can just reach out into the back line and at the same time can destroy or 
let's say, give a lot of damage. Because considering that Rattown, currently on the Rift Walker and Nash, that was an easy task for him to just reach behind the Golden mm. Knight and draw. So they kind of need to share the same condition of uh, pressuring the backline to avoid more backups. Yeah, Daw hasn't been having a great day here. Hasn't been able to get a lot of resources for the team. And he would really need to find a way to get any more objectives. The dragon is going to be one for them. But with the towers being taken down here by the side of uh, KT Rolster, right? especially nobody could fight against Rattel at this point. Rattel is yeah. just free reigning on taking the side lanes. <laughs> you can definitely see the items are three amplifying tones and an exhaust. So you don't really want to mess oh. with Rattel. But here comes a backup and good enchanted crystal arrow. But a cleanse so acrobat will be reaching again as they are battering him out. And he will be. Oh! Going to to just uh, run away and die, but then Daw back up. up with e may onto the side. Aaron, oh man, Rattel with a snip, snip, snipping everyone else, snipping tools right away. Oh. As Luna trying to reach all Aaron. of the battle cards, e is going to survive oh. from Aaron, and they are not going to stop. They are trying to mow them down. As the last member, Zero, will survive, but the tower isn't. G2B was able to get the win in that fight. They were able to just turn things around. Let's take a look at the replay and what happened that game. Rolster Y is supposed to be uh, getting a really good start here in this fight because uh, uh, Luna was just taking down Eren, getting him really, really far away. Daw almost started this to be in their favor. They got some great knockoffs, but when Eren came back to the fight, that is when things turned around in the favor of G2B. Yeah, and look at that, how tanky they are because of draw from behind and just waiting for his cooldowns in that transfusion from Aaron. No problem. Just uh, an easy uh, kill for them. Yep. And for now, for G2B, they need to do is just stabilize and what Aaron and KD could do because definitely with what the Sona and also the Silver could do to help them out to gain the momentum that they would need, they won't really need attack. We'll talk about how they don't have a frontline in their composition, but when you have this speed that you can get from a Sona and a Silver, Silver, sorry, it's not gonna be a problem. Yeah, the, the, uh, with that ultimate, I was expecting that there's no reaction coming in from KT. They did manage well on trying to kite them out and they got the turret onto the mid lane. I mean, yes, definitely onto the mid lane. So they have an extra layer of protection. But then again, a, a good uh, one step ahead from G to B to surprise them. And right now, they are once again sizing each other up. Yeah. They would need to be careful here. Baron could be started at any time. No vision on this side of the map. On the top side of the map for Rolls or for G2B, they see where Rolls or Y are, and they can definitely start the Baron here, even though they have only one vision right there. Just one word there that they could use. Oh, oh. Veils being removed. So this will be a problem. Sleepy Bubble Trouble is going to hit, but doesn't really need much of a issue out there enchanted oh, Aaron. arrow Aaron catches that nice lens. lens but there's uh, too many members paddle star is going to hit pool survive with use with use of that sanguine pool on the top side just because they got that scuttler a while ago that's the reason why they weren't able to start the baron and now g2b is looking for opportunities to get vision on the top side of the map in order for them to just take that but Dragon is going to be coming up in 12 seconds. And that is what G2B wants to go for. They want to take the soul just to take this game in the bag. Oh, and uh, a good switch up right now. After getting a lot of vision onto the Baron, they Ooh. are moving into Dragon. And we know that the hell it. is from behind. No one knows. And here comes the call of the Forge God. Two hits, but then the will bail out. Doesn't really need to. Much of, uh, let's see, a sink of much oh, of no. the damage. But Luna? here comes Ime onto the side. As KD in the middle Rattel. of the play. And Rattel also trying to push himself into the middle. But then again, the damage the is soul. there. They got the seeing. They got the soul. And now the souls of this player. Oh, the oh, oh. The as Aaron and KD leading the pack. And make sure to make things work. Great secure from G2B, taking that starting the dragon made that team very uncomfortable. Even in the bot side of the map, R map Rattel wasn't able to do much. G2B is just going to end this game. And this will be an easy task for them with the squad wipe. With the ace, no problem.
Wow. G2B. Great play coming in from G2B. Oh, only one flash. Yeah. And that 